Hi, my name is Adam Hamberle, and welcome to this month's episode of Flowers What's Next. It's September and we're taking some different sized terracotta dishes and creating this beautiful tower of floor. First thing we're going to do is we're going to address what items we're going to need for this project. Vanna water, a single block of floral foam. It comes in green, it comes in black. You can get this in the floral department where you get the flowers. We'll have that. I'm using four different height terracotta dishes. Starting with various height terracotta dishes, I'm starting with a six inch, working my way down, and then pieces of plastic to line them so they don't seep water. A knife to cut the foam, a bread knife works really great, and of course our scissors and our cutters. First thing we're going to do is get our foam ready before we put it in water. I want to cut it the height of the container, so go ahead and cut it like that. And because it's going to be pushed in, cut a little bit more off. It's easier to do this when it's dry so you don't make a big mess. Cut it down at angles. And then you can see it's going to need a little bit more color. Perfect. So that's that one. I'm going to go ahead, don't submerge it, don't pour water over it, just let it sink into its situation. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other pots. Not throwing these pieces away because we're going to use them. And you see, that fits perfectly. Throw that in the water. This guy here. I'm going to take a long piece and just put some together. There's no reason wasting our product. Perfect. Put those in. Put a little bitty guy. Just going to take a little couple of pieces. They're going to fit in and let it submerge. These I'm going to hold on to because I may need them. I'm going to show you why in a moment. Plastic. Put the plastic, make sure it fits into the vessel, some sticking up, and then we're going to put our piece right in. And we're going to do that with all of them. The reason I saved the pieces, do you see how this is a little wobbly in here? I'm going to take just a couple of the shards, throw them in the water, and then I can put them in once they're soaked to just brace this one from shifting at all. Next step, take your scissors and cut the plastic off. All the way around. Until it's flush with the dish. Now we have the plastic cut, so we're going to put them, we're going to stack them right on top. And I save this for the side, because I like the little side. That is all it takes to create our base. When we're completely done, we're going to add a little bit of water to each of these, because you still have to add water to foam, making sure you get it in between the foam and the plastic. That's step one. We have the tower, and we have our bouquet already separated, so now it's time for the fun thing. Our hydrangeas are our biggest flowers, so what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut it so I can get multiple insertions. Do you see how by cutting it at the base, I can go in, put it deep into the foam in multiple places so we get a lot of this coverage. You see, just by doing that, we covered up most of the base. Always make sure that you alternate the colors all the way up. By alternate, I'm referring to there's blue here, blue here, blue there. We're gonna do the same on the other side. If there's a little piece that you wanna pull off, go ahead. And let's continue with our colors by adding our carnations. We're gonna cut these short, making sure they go deep into the foam. So much fun. And I'm gonna save one carnation for our little satellite. Next, let's add in our daisies. We're gonna cut them all off the stem so we have multiple insertions. That way we can separate the color really well. And how these are grouped, I want to group some of these daisies together too. And some will come up alongside the vessel because they do grow at different heights. They're not always perfectly growing. But do you see how fast this is to put the flowers together once we have our vessel together? These just seem to be going no time at all. I think this is great for a garden party, imagine a tea party, outdoor event. Another really fun thing that you can do that now I'm wishing I saved this for our Christmas one was painting these terracotta bases gold and adding a red ribbon around it and doing winter flowers, Christmas flowers, and then you have a Christmas tree, you may be revisiting this come Christmas time. Now I'm excited about that. And let's not forget our little guy. One single balloon in that. Now we're going to do our spray roses the same exact way as we did our daisies. And these, I'm going to put into the blue. So we have a little bit of that, that spray rose moment happening. Blue and yellow is such a great color combination for any kind of home decor. It really makes a statement. one and a little base on there. Next I'm going to do our mini cards. And these can just be spread out all around. You see I'm coming out a little bit from the flowers. I want to add a little bit of depth so I'm making them really stand out on their own. Our Solidago. I'm gonna cut this in pieces so we have a lot more to put into. Ruscus. We're going to cut this into units, just like all of our flowers. It seems to be our MO when we do our designs. As we break stuff down and we show just how far they go. I 
and these I'm just going to put throughout the flowers just to add a little bit of that green light, the green nature, making sure all of our mechanics are covered. All of the plastics covered, the foam is covered. Do you see how the green just adds life to this design? Yes, for sure you need to do this for Christmas. It's in my mind now. It's going to be in my mind for the rest of the night. I was thinking, how do we transform something like this into a Christmas moment? You'll be seeing the video coming out. Last but not least are lily grits. This I'm going to cut short to about here and just put these right in to the top. Kind of looks like a pineapple though. It could be so many things. It looks a little bit like a pineapple. These pieces I'm just going to put throughout. So again, we don't want to lose anything. We don't want to throw stuff away if it's still beautiful and it can create a beautiful moment. What do you think? Super beautiful, simple, easy. And these little guys, I think it looks cute by there. But if you're having a dinner party, imagine putting this at every single one of the plates. A simple little terracotta dish. I hope you liked it. Send me photos. I love to hear your comments. I love to have the engagement. Remember, like and subscribe, and we will see you next month.